I wanted to check. Um, I think, Rutendo, what you need to also um, maybe uh, check with um, your conducts that uh, say that um, Shinamasa is a sellout. Uh, maybe it's a sellout because he was under predominantly Mugabe era. But he, I think those people must also, they must just not dismiss to say, I ah, know, I'll ignore him, he's a sellout. Imagine a person who took over at the Attorney General's office from Godfrey Chigao Siku in 1989 to the year 2000. He was the Attorney General. Could he really be regarded as Mutengesi? Aka point were to the pinnacle office of the Attorney General from 1989 to 2000. And could there not have been anybody within the ranks of ZANPF and the war uh, liberators who really realized that ah, Chinamasa Mutengesi? And to a greater extent, Chinamasa is a very close ally in terms of. Uh, uh, the political party and commanding a very senior position in ZANPF and a very close ally of His Excellency Comrade E. D. Mnangago. Who could these, these people be and who are they saying Jinama Samutengesi if he has got this particular credential? Uh, it's other people, other people who have also got very senior seniority, but uh, we will not name names here. It's not necessary. In case you are wondering where the beef between Rutendo Matinyarare and Patrick Chinamasa is coming from, briefly here I'll tell you where it's coming from. I believe you've all seen the video of Zambian citizens demonstrating against the behavior of some ZANPF officials who were insulting Nevers Mumba, uh, who were insulting President Hichilema. Uh, of late, we have seen ZANPF officials, the likes of Christopher Mchangwa, George Jaramba, Patrick Chinamasa, insulting Nevers Mumba, uh, insulting President Ichilema. As you all know that Nevers Mumba was appointed by President Akende Ichilema as the leader uh, of the Sadiq Observer team, which was, uh, I mean, observing elections in Zimbabwe. So, the ZANPF guys were not happy with the um, uh, post-election uh, preliminary report by Sadiq, which indicated that the election was not conducted in a free and fair manner. Rute Ndomatinyarare as well went on too far. Here on his uh, post responding to Joseph Kalimbwe, he said Mwanawasa died because he was orchestrating an invasion of Zimbabwe. Yichilema too will soon see that you don't mess with Africa. So, in other words, Rute Ndomatinyarare is insinuating that Yichilema will die the same way Levi Mwanawasa died. And he's also... So there's some sort of admitting that Mwanawasa was killed for uh, merely telling Robert Mugabe that what he was doing was wrong. Because in 2008, Mwanawasa told Mugabe, he made some remarks to say Zimbabwe is a singing Titanic after uh, repeated uh, uh, rigged elections by ZANU-PF. So, now that they are under fire, probably from within their Zanupi of ranks, or I don't know. Patrick Namasa has thrown Rutendo Matinyarare under the bus and is now claiming that he don't know Rutendo Matinyarare. He don't even know whether he's a male or it's a female or I don't know. So now Rutendo Matinyarare waged war against Patrick Namasa is now calling him a sellout and he claims that he has got some hard evidence, some voice notes from other ZANPF officials claiming the same thing that Patrick Namasa is a sellout. Oh my goodness.